morning and welcome to our fifth grade movie update ceremony. We're so glad that you're able to be here to join us today. Um, momentarily, we will be having our graduates making their way down the aisle, but I just want to just kind of let you know what's going to happen after the ceremony. So when we are all done, um, we will have an opportunity for you to spend some time with your fifth grader outside in the reading garden. So at the end of the ceremony, our fifth graders are going to process out with their teachers. We'll get them on their way. And then you are welcome to go out the front door and walk around the side of the building to the reading garden and meet up with your child there. Um, also important for you to know, your child is going to get a yellow envelope. In that envelope are their certificates, but also their yearbook. Um, so when they come back in the building, they do have the opportunity to celebrate with their classmates. They will need that yearbook. So every fifth grader does have one, so please make sure if you're taking the yellow envelope home, you do give the yearbook to your child so they can bring it back in. Um, they're going to enjoy a celebration with all of the fifth grade classmates and have the opportunity to get their yearbook signed. Um, so please make sure you leave that with them. So without further ado, we are going to get this started and um, have our fifth graders process down. Mrs. Part 2, you are one of a kind. 
I'm not going to go as far as saying how many years you've been teaching. One thing we've learned about our level 5 students is that they love figuring out how old their teachers are. <laughs> and they're really good at math. So to avoid these students doing some quick math in their head, I'll skip that part. I will say, however, you've been here long enough to see many changes at BBS. Changes to the physical building itself, changes to staffing and leadership. The one thing that has not changed is the immense impact that you've had on those around you and how incredibly obvious it is that you were born to teach. You are a champion and a fierce advocate in the classroom for your students. Within these walls, you are irreplaceable. It is very clear, however, based on how your two sons have grown into successful young men, your finest teachings happened under your own roof, at home, as a mother. We are all very excited that you now have all the time in the world to bestow your wisdom, your compassion, your empathy, and your grace as a grandmother to one very lucky soon to be arriving baby. BBS will not be the same without you. If you can all join me around the applause for this. Congratulations. 
recommendations from all of us, and best of luck in the middle school. Thank you.
say this is fat because it's probably South Africa, Frontier High School. Please stand up. <laughs>
So, starting with Mr. Salvatore's class, we have for many parts.
Max Frischella. Jack Hubbard. Wes Larson. <laughs> ben Larzak.
establishment while at BPS was when I won the Halloween costume contest. Mr. Martinez gave me an award. I felt special when he gave me that award, and I still have the award till this day. I was a gymnast for the Halloween contest. I wish we still did the Halloween contest. It was so fun. Hello, my name is Griffin Clark. I am in Mr. Salvatore's class. My favorite memory of BBS was taking part in the fifth grade musical, the best little theater in town. I was a member of the lights crew. I liked that I got to practice the musical after school and it was enjoyable being with my friends. Hello, my name is Ian Carlo. I am from Mrs. Birch's class. My favorite memory of BBS was when we went to Kaboo Field Trip in fourth grade. I remember sitting on the lawn near a campfire. Smoke smell like maple syrup. Hello, my name is Olivia Duffy and I'm Mr. Salvatore's class. My favorite memory of BBS was activity day when I was in Miss Files fourth grade class. Activity day was so much fun. We did balloon races, water relays, and we got to do a big tug of war. When we went outside on the playground, there were cotton candy machines and snow cones. I'll never forget that day. Hello, my name is Natalie Ecker. I am in Miss Sherry's class. The most important thing I learned at BBS was to always be optimistic. To me, optimistic means to always look on the bright side of things. I learned this from Miss Holsey. Even when she's having a bad day, she continues to stay positive and joke around with us. Hello, my name is Jamison Aaron I'm in Miss Sherry's class. My favorite memory of BBS is all the field days we had at BBS. The first two field days in kindergarten and first grade were so fun. I learned how to use the fire pole at the old playground. There was a dunk tank that students got to use. We also got to bring snacks into classrooms. In fourth grade, when field day returned, it was one of the funnest field days yet. We gave out free slushy cups at lunch, and it was beautiful how my parents volunteered. They had a tug of rope and squirt guns. It was really fun. Hello, my name is Sarah Ellis. I'm in Mr. Salvatore's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BBS was doing fourth grade kindness. In fourth grade, when I was in Mrs. Files' class. I won this award for being nice to my friends, teachers, Mrs. Bauer, and the other students. Hello, my name is Courtney Van Schell. I am in Ms. Sherry's class. My favorite memory of BBS was when we had a dance party after science. One day during science, we used flashlights in our lesson, and afterwards, we turned off the lights and had a dance party. Miss Sherry turned on one of my favorite songs, I Ain't Worried, by One Republic, and our whole class danced with the lights off and our flashlights lighting on our classroom like at a live concert. I love this moment so much that I began to teach myself this song on my keyboard at home. Hello, my name is Maya Farrell. I'm in Miss Sherry's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BBS is my first Sherry Star and my first positive officer film. I felt so accomplished to be the first Sherry Star of the year because I was so determined to be the first. My positive officer pearl, I was also the first one to be. I was so excited to go home and share my good accomplishments. Hello, my name is Max Rochella. I am in Miss Sherry's class. The most important thing I learned at BBS was coping skills. Coping skills means that when you are angry or mad, you can take deep breath, breaths and just handle your anger. I first learned coping skills in writing with Miss Sherry. If you can control your anger, you're good at coping skills. This proves that coping skills are very important. Hello, my name is Grace House. I'm in Mr. Salvatore's class. My greatest accomplishment at BBS was when I was in Mrs. Nutter's second grade class. I won a first me award for when I helped my friend Anna. I was really proud of myself when I was recognized on stage in front of all the BBS students. Hello, my, hello, my name is Jack Hubbard and I'm in Miss Sherry's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BBS was getting a Sherry star because I had it in my homework without her telling me to. I was literally crying happily when I got it. Hello, my name is Joseph Janiszewski. I am in Mrs. Salvatore's class. My favorite memory of BBS was when I went to the trick or treat. I saw a lot of my friends and got lots of candy. I got extra candy because so many kids wore the same amount of roller costume. My parents couldn't keep track of who they gave candy to already, so I kept getting more and more. Hello, my name is Kylie Kirby. I am in Mr. Salvatore's class. My favorite memory at BBS 
was being in the musical The Best Little Theater in Town. It is my favorite memory at BVS because I got to spend extra time with my friends and try something new I've never done before. Hello, my name is Wes Larson. I'm in Miss Sherry's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BVS was when I was in second grade. I got my first made of character. It was a role model reward. I got super happy and after school I ran to my parents and they were really proud of me. When my parents saw the award, they took me to pizza and I had a really fun time. Hello, my name is Ben Lozen. I am in Miss Shelley's class. My favorite memory of BBS was when we raced cars using wind and sails. During science in fifth grade, we were making cars using only a few resources in the span of only a few days. The first day wasn't very productive, but I, and to be honest, I had my doubts. But my partner, Max, and I researched, and then the next few days were fun and productive. This worked on my problem skills, and we eventually won, won the race. Hello, my name is Anna Lilly. I am in Miss Sherry's class. My favorite memory of BBS was our first flashlight dance party. We had just finished a moon science experiment. Since we did good, Miss Sherry blasted our favorite song, I Ain't Worried. We all stuck our flashlights in the air while screaming to our song. It was so fun because it felt like everything was right with the world. Hello, my name is Charlie Lyle. I am in Miss Sherry's class. My favorite memory of BVS was when we had Octopi. I was in first grade. It was a plastic octopus that has emotions. It was on a Tuesday. Maya brought in octopies for our table. I got my own octopi and named him Bob. I loved him with my life. Hello, my name is Tucker Martin. I am in Mr. Salvatore's class. My favorite memory while at BBS began when I was in Miss Vile's fourth grade class. That year, my brother Gunnar entered kindergarten at Boston Valley. It makes me happy to know he is in the building with me, and I love seeing him during school hours. Hello, my name is Ben McGinley. I am in Ms. Wright's twos class. My greatest accomplishment while at BVS was being a good teammate, team member, and getting better at football. I got three touchdowns with catching the, a football with one hand, and I was surprised that I even caught the football. My friends were so proud of me, and I felt so happy that I caught the football with one hand. Hello, my name is Scarlett McHale. I am in Miss Sherry's class. The most important thing I learned at BVS was to be optimistic. To be optimistic is to always look on the bright side. I learned this from Miss Sherry. She from Miss Ferry. She is always smiling and helps everyone get through hard things. Hello, my name is Macy Miller. I am in Mr. Salvatore's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BBS was in Mrs. Kelly's fourth grade class. I won first place in the high jump at the district track meet, which was against students from all of the elementary schools. Hello, my name is Roy Murphy, and I'm in Ms. Bartu's class. My favorite memory of BBS was all the teachers like Ms. Bartu and Ms. Sell and Ms. Clamp and Mrs. Judge, Ms. Rivera, and Ms. Townsend, and the rest of the teachers. And Mrs. Bartu taught me math and Ms. Clamp too. Hello, my name is Miles Nowakowski, and I'm in Mrs. Salvatore's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BBS was when I was in Miss Files fourth grade class. I got first place in long jump out of all the schools like Union Pleasant, Armour, Charlotte Avenue. Doing that well against everyone else sparked an interest to keep getting better and better. Hello, my name is William Palmer. I am in Miss Sherry's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BBS was getting my first Sherry star. A few weeks ago, I saw a classmate struggling with their March Madness work. I saw a friend getting very upset because they couldn't figure it out. So I asked if he wanted help. This made him very, this made him happy and appreciate it. Ms. Sherry noticed and announced the next day that I got a Sherry star. I felt really happy and accomplished, and I made a big smile for the picture that was going on the Sherry star board. Hello, my name is Lily Rivera. I'm in Miss Sherry's class. My favorite memory at BPS was the fifth grade musical. 
It was called the Basel Theater in town. And I played Melody Link. When I found out I got Melody, I was super happy. I felt like I would do great. I really enjoyed spending more time with my friends between rehearsals. Hello, my name is Nathan Rogers. I am in Miss Sherry's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BVS was finishing my multiplication sheets in third grade. The problems got harder and harder, but I practiced and got better. Hello, my name is Kayla. I am in Miss Sherry's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BVS was being able to design the yearbook cover. My cover had a big yellow smiley face and a rainbow over it. It also had a purple background. Whenever, when everyone had submitted their cover design, we all voted for the one we thought was the best. I'd been waiting to get the results for weeks, and when Ms. Laura said my name, I was incredibly happy. Hello, my name is Jackson Schmidt. I am in Master Salvatore's class. My favorite memory of BBS was when I was in Mrs. Kelly's fourth grade class. At the end of the school year, we went through the school and did a huge puzzle scavenger hunt. We went all around the building and looked for clues. At the end of the hunt, we got lots of candy. Hello, my name is Haley Schrein. I'm in Mr. Salvatore's class. The most important thing I learned at BBS was to be respectful and kind. I learned this in Ms. Judge's kindergarten class. She, she taught us to treat others the way you want to be treated. I learned to be kind to others even if they are not being kind to you. That person may be having a hard time and just a little kind, kindness may make their day a little bit better. Hello, my name is Cassidy Thompson and I am in Mr. Salvatore's class. My greatest accomplishment while I was at BBS was the school year when I got third place in the spelling bee. I did much better than I expected by studying really hard with my grandma and I'm really proud of myself. Hi, my name is Michelle Chan. I am in, in Mr. Salvatore's class. My favorite memory of BBS was in Ms. Montani's kindergarten class when we celebrated Mother's Day by eating cookies and painting flowers. Hello, my name is Sophia Van Getty. I'm in Mr. Salvatore's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BBS was getting into all kind of course. All County Chorus was an amazing experience. The practices were long, but I loved every second of them. I got to meet new people and then perform at Fine Hands Music Hall. Hello, my name is Emma Walzak. I'm in Miss Haley's class. My greatest accomplishment while I was at BVS was my Haley star. One day in social studies, we were going around the room putting words on sticky notes to study for the test. I was using big vocabulary words to prepare for the test. And this is why Miss Haley gave me my Haley star. Hello, my name is Riley Lavelle. I'm in Mr. Salvatore's class. My favorite memory of BBS was when I was in Miss Kelly's fourth grade class and we went to the maple sugar farm. It was my favorite memory because we got a tour of the maple tree and learned how maple sugar is made. One more reason is that we got to go inside and learn about the Haudenosaunee or Iroquois and play games about the Haudenosaunee and taste maple sugar. BBS was in Mrs. Files' fourth grade class. We went to Taylor Road Woods and saw how to make syrup. We collected sap and boiled it into syrup. Then we got a hike around in the woods and it was so fun. Hello, my name is Riley. I'm in Miss Sherry's class. My greatest accomplishment while at BBS was when I won March Madness. Miss Sherry made a writing competition called March Madness. We would choose a book character and do four rounds of writing about them. Someone would win. In the final four, it was me and two of my best friends and another person. My best friend was really good, so I thought I would get out, but somehow I didn't. I moved on to the championship. It was stressful waiting for the result, but after gym, we came back to the classroom and I saw a paper on my desk saying I won. I couldn't believe I had won. I was very proud of myself. I felt like a very good writer. May you have auspiciousness and causes of success. May you have the confidence to always do your best. May you take no effort in your being generous. Sharing what you can, nothing more, nothing less. May you know the meaning of the word happiness. May you 
always lead from the beating in your chest may you be treated like an esteemed guest may you get to rest may you catch your breath or may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows whoa or may the road less paved be the road that you follow whoa well here's to the hearts that you're gonna break here's to the lives that you're gonna change here's to the infinite possible ways to love you slap bracelet may you keep the chaos and the clutter off your desk may you have unquestionable health and less stress having no possessions though immeasurable wealth may you get a gold star on your next test may your educated guesses always be correct and may you win prizes shining like diamonds may you really own it each moment to the next or may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows whoa or may the road less pain be the road that you follow oh well here's to the hearts that you gonna break here's to the lives that you gonna change here's to the infinite possible ways to love you i want you to have it here's to the good times we gonna have you don't need money you got a free pass here's to the fact that i'll be sad without you i want you to can imagine oh no matter what your path is if you believe it then anything can happen go 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 raise your glasses go 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 you can have it oh. i told you here's to the hearts that you're gonna break here's to the lives that you're gonna change here's to the infinite possible ways to love you i want you to have We'll be sure to share that out with you so that you can watch it for yourself at home. Um, so, boys and girls, we do want you to have it all, and I believe that we have given you everything that you need here at Boston Valley in your elementary school years to be well on your way. Um, something that makes me super proud is when I listen to the things that you talk about on those slides. I know we all know that the learning is important, and there are things that your teachers have to teach you as far as academics. But the most important things that you mentioned are the things that, that I think are what's going to carry you forward successfully, and those are the life skills that you've learned here at Boston Valley. God bless you. Um, so you have learned some really important things that help you be amazing human beings, and I hope that you will carry those things forward with you to middle school. I'm going to give you the same speech I gave all of our fifth graders before they go to middle school. Do you guys know what it is? Do you remember from watching previous movie updates? to take care of each other. 
to take care of each other. You have been together, many of you, since kindergarten. I know we have friends who have joined us along the way, and we have welcomed them in, and they've been part of our Boston Valley family. And like Mr. Salvatore said, once you are Boston Valley, you are always Boston Valley. So you're going to go to the middle school, and you're going to blend with all those students from the other elementary buildings. You're going to get to know new people. You're going to make new friends. But I want you to lean on the things that you've learned here at Boston Valley. And I want you to pinky promise me right now. Get in the air. Pinky promise me right now. Let's see them. You are going to take care of each other. Okay? All right. So we are going to have them um, process out so that you can take pictures with them. We do need to get them back in for lunch by 11.10. So start watching for your teachers at 11.10. Okay, oh, now.